Accounting systems provide a method to collect, report, and maintain financial information. Accounting systems come in all shapes and sizes and are often tailored to an individual organization's needs. Whether the accounting system runs manually or through a computer, the fundamental aspects are the same. Using an accounting system is simply a way of organizing financial information effectively and efficiently. Accountants are tasked with maintaining and presenting financial information in an organized way. Accounting systems are designed to alleviate the task of repeating certain steps in the accounting cycle. For this reason, having an accounting system in place is fundamental to ensure that all transactions are recorded consistently and accurately. Most companies nowadays rely on a computerized accounting system. The primary difference between a manual and a computerized system is that a computerized accounting system uses computer software to record, maintain, and often categorize accounting transactions. Some companies, particularly small ones, still prefer a manual accounting system. Manual accounting systems rely heavily on individuals to take responsibility to collect financial records, safeguard paper trails, and record transactions. Although fewer and fewer companies keep a truly manual accounting system, learning how to manually perform accounting functions can be very helpful in understanding the flow of financial information. Ledgers are the backbone of any accounting system. A ledger is a collection of financial information organized by type. For example, a cash ledger will show all transactions impacting cash. It will not show transactions that do not involve the receipt or disbursement of cash. The first and perhaps most important ledger is the general ledger. The general ledger contains the balance of all accounts used within an organization. The accounts on the general ledger are the source of data that is used to prepare the financial statements. Therefore, general ledger information feeds directly into the financial statements. When financial statements are presented to shareholders and other interested parties, only the current balance in each general ledger account is included. However, to arrive at the amount or number used in those accounts, the accountant must keep detailed records of the organization's customers and creditors. General ledger information comes from what is known as controlling accounts. A controlling account is a summary of a more detailed individual account known as a subsidiary ledger. For example, John Wales is a customer of ABC Company. He purchased $5,000 worth of supplies on account and now his current outstanding balance is $10,000. However, upon looking at the balance sheet, ABC Company has a total balance in the accounts receivable account of $50,000. John's outstanding balance of $10,000 is only part of what makes up the current accounts receivable balance for ABC Company. Even though the details do not show up in the financial statements of ABC Company, the accountant still needs to know what makes up the $50,000 balance. The Accounts Receivable Subsidiary Ledger, the Customer Ledger, is an individual ledger account used to keep track of all the individual customer accounts. These individual accounts are then summed together to make up the total accounts receivable balance known as a controlling account. Subsidiary ledgers are typically used where more detailed customer level or supplier level information is needed. Therefore, subsidiary ledgers are commonly used for controlling accounts such as sales, accounts receivable, and accounts payable. In these situations, subsidiary ledgers help us keep track of purchase details such as cost, location, and other data specific to that account. Remember that accounting systems are fundamental to ensure that all transactions are recorded consistently and accurately. The ability to drill down to the individual account level allows the company to have a record of what makes up the figures shown on the financial statements. In accounting, financial trails are very important because they help us trace information back to its original source and spot errors more easily. Accounting systems help us reduce errors by automating routine steps and keeping track of transaction details.